Welcome back everyone. It's appetizer day and I'm going to show you how to make cranberry brie bites. These are delicious. They're perfect for the holiday season and they look divine on your Christmas table. So why not? You got pretty colors. We're going to keep it simple by using crescent dough and four simple ingredients. Ready? Let's go ahead. We're going to start rolling out our crescent roll dough. Crescent rolls can come in the triangles, and that's totally fine. You can roll it out. There we go. Or you can get it in the sheet like this, and then we're going to cut it into pieces. This is also perfect for football season. You've got tailgating. You've got people coming over to your house, or you want to bring something to other people's house for football. Ooh, bring this one. Now I'm using a silicone mat and these fit in your trays to bake cookies on. This is small enough to where we can roll out our dough. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of flour on here. You can use a regular work surface too, like your counter. You just want to make sure that the dough doesn't stick. So make sure you flour it really well and then just scoot over the excess flour. Now, if you can find the sheet of dough, that's perfect. If not, like I said, just use the triangle dough. And once you roll it out, you can pinch it all together. And put a little bit of flour on the top so we can just roll this out a little bit, thin it out. There we go. I'm gonna get my rolling pin. Just kind of roll it out. Just nice and even. Keep the rectangular shape. There we go. Perfect, right there. Okay, we're gonna take the pizza cutter and we're gonna cut this into 24 pieces. So we're gonna cut right down the center, the long way, and then we're going to cut two more the long way. So you have four strips. And try to keep them the same size if you can. Now what we're gonna do is cut these into six pieces. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna bring over our pan. Now this is a 24 mini muffin tin. You want the minis for this one here. We're gonna spray this with some nonstick cooking spray. There we go. Take one square of your crescent dough. We're going to place it, just kind of stretch it out a little bit, and then place it into the muffin tin. These are going to balloon up when they cook in the oven. Just like that. We're going to keep doing that until we get them all filled. All right, I love appetizers. This time of the year is perfect for them. There's so many reasons to make appetizers, right? You've got Christmas, you got New Year's, you've got football, you've got potlucks, things at work where you need to bring something. Oh my gosh, bring these. They're really quick and easy to put together. These are great for potlucks at work, church. All right, now if you have the small ones, you can just stretch them out and then just fit it in there. I have like an old, old video making these for you. I don't know if a lot of y'all have been around at that time. Might have been four or five years ago when I made these. So big difference though. That was when I first started my channel, but it's out there. You can find it. Stretch it, stretch it. Okay, look at that. Set these off to the side. Open up a can of cranberry and just put it in a bowl. Y'all, I have to tell y'all something. This is hilarious. I gave a can of cranberry sauce to my daughter to open during Thanksgiving, and she was trying to open it right here. <laughs> and with cranberry sauce, it says on the right here, open other end. <laughs> so I had to flip it over for her. <laughs> She's gonna kill me for saying this, but. <laughs> All right, now we all know you have an extra can of cranberry sauce in your pantry from Thanksgiving. And if not, the stores still have them, which is nice. Take your knife, drag it around the edge of it, and it pops right out. There we go. All right, let's mash it up. All right, I'm just going to grab me a spoon. It'll be easier than a fork. All right, 
We don't need that anymore. Let's put that right here. All right, we're gonna take a little spoonful, like a tablespoon, put it right in the center of each dough. And you don't wanna overfill. So we got some other stuff to put in. All right, I'm gonna speed this up for you. Oh, I missed one right there. There we go. Yum. All right, let's talk about the cheese. I am using Brie, which is B-R-I-E, and this is a buttery and creamy cheese. It's very soft, it has a rind around it, and we're gonna be pulling that off. You don't need very much of this. This is actually seven ounces, and I'm not even sure we're gonna be using all of that. So we're gonna take it out of its wrapper. I'm gonna cut off the white rind of the cheese. Just cut it very thin so you don't lose a lot of that cheese. Now, brie cheese is very popular during the holidays. So what I'm gonna do now is cut this in half and I'm going to cut through that top layer of that white. Let me get that off of there. Now, we're gonna cut this into strips and then we're gonna cut the strips into small pieces. And then you're gonna take the small pieces and we're gonna place them right on top of the cranberry sauce. All right, I'm gonna give this a try for you. Let's go. Mmm. It's definitely buttery. It's very smooth and creamy. It's got a mild flavor. Yes. Perfect for this recipe. All right, I'm gonna cut up the rest of this and then we're gonna put them all on top of our cranberry sauce here. Yeah, you see where I'm going? Fun. Okay, I only needed half of the wheel, so the other half is pretty much intact there and you can use that for anything you want if you wanna make another whole pan of these. Just a little sprinkling. You know, if you don't want to add the nuts, you don't have to. If you want to put them on half of them, you can. Not everybody likes pecans. Okay, we got to give these a Christmas feel. Got some rosemary here, add a nice little flavor. We're just gonna take some of the sprigs off and place it on top of the pecans. So just hold it, pull off a sprig, put it on top. So you're just gonna hold it and pull it off. It smells like Christmas on this tray of cranberry brie bites. I've got my oven preheating at 375 degrees. We're gonna bake these for about 15 minutes until the crescents are nice and golden brown and cooked through. Then we're gonna give it a try. Okay, I've just pulled these cranberry brie bites out of the oven. Look how delicious these look. Just pop one out, place it onto your serving tray or platter, and then fill them up. Okay, if you can get them on there <laughs> fast enough before somebody takes them off. Before <laughs> He's talking with his mouthful. Don't these look delicious? Fun little bite, appetizer. All right, here you go. I'm gonna give one a try for you. That sweetness from the cranberry and the saltiness from the cheese wrapped in that crescent roll with a little bit of pecans and a sprig of rosemary. Mm. That's the perfect bite right there. All right, 
y'all give me a thumbs up on this one make sure you like my video if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification that way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted i'll see y'all on the next episode